Um, hi everyone, my name is Tiana and I'm starting a new channel and I just kind of wanted today's video to be about me finally getting the brush reduction that I've been wanting since uh, forever <laughs> and I'm finally getting it. My surgery date is scheduled April 20th, 2023 and I get testing done before my procedure April 5th so I'm excited about that because it is right around the corner. It's like so far away, but it's like right there. And I'm just like really looking forward to it because I've been wanting this procedure for a few years now, since I was 18, I've been wanting to get a brush reduction. So I'm just gonna kind of talk about what I had to do to start the process of getting a brush reduction. For me, it took a while because I was going, I'm going through insurance and, and with insurance you have, it's different. For everybody's insurance but my insurance require requires a lot of, of things for you to do on your part before you can even get approved so i've actually had like a large chest area since i was in about 12 years old in sixth grade i believe i was still in elementary school i believe i was a double d a double d in sixth grade so my pediatrician he already kind of like he actually brought it up to my mom that I might be wanting to consider getting a brush reduction when I hit 18 because I think that's the age that I think I think you have to wait till you're 18 to get a brush reduction I'm not sure I've had I've started developing a large chest area very early so maybe yeah this is something that I've, I've been considering because I just it's, it's it was looked at as an issue that I was gonna have to deal with when I got older so my pediatrician recommended that I look into getting one when I turned 18 and I'm when I turned 18, I wasn't really sure if I wanted the surgery or not because I I, I was I was I don't know I was just scared I was nervous and I just wasn't sure. But like now that I'm looking back at it, I'm 23 now, and I don't I regret not getting the surgery if that makes sense. Like I wish I would have got it when I turned 18, and I waited till I was 23 to start the process. But I'm glad that I did because now it's like literally the weight of the world being lifted off my shoulders i'm something i'm really looking forward to i brought the thought of getting a brush reduction to my doctor i brought that up to my doctor around august of 2022 and when i brought that up to him he immediately got me into physical therapy because i've had a it's a requirement for my for me to have to do physical therapy or try something to relieve the back pain, the neck pain, any kind of pain that I'm dealing with from the large chest area. I've got blood work done. Um, I started my physical therapy. I did physical therapy twice a week, I believe, for two months. And then once I finished physical therapy, um, my doctor asked if I felt like physical therapy was helping, the physical therapist. Obviously, thing. Um, things weren't helping so he thought that the surgery would, would have been best for me as well so I've had um, decisions from the physical therapist and from my primary care physician that they both thought that the breast reduction would be a great thing for me to do and after I finished my physical therapy that's when my doctor referred me to a plastic surgeon and I had to wait to hear back from them to see if they were accepting new patients. And unfortunately, that took a month. So that was already two months of me doing physical therapy, plus another month of waiting to see if the surgeon that I was referred to was taking new patients. And unfortunately, they weren't. So I had to find another surgeon. But luckily, I've had a lot of friends that got breast reduction as well. And they referred me to their surgeon. And luckily he was taking new patients. So I just had my primary care physician. I had him refer me to them because I already knew that they were taking new patients and I was just ready to get the process started because it's already been three months at this point and I'm just, I'm just ready to get it. I'm just ready to get it on. Like I'm just ready to get my smaller chest and just not have to deal with all the pain that I've been dealing with for so long. So they actually, finally find a surgeon that's taking new patients and they get me in pretty quickly fairly quickly they get me in I want to say two days after my doctor made the referral they contacted me to make a make my consultation appointment which I was really excited about 
So my consultation appointment was on February 14th of 2023. And we talked about the sizing, the risk, the how the surgery was gonna go, how long it was gonna take, the healing process, all of every everything I, that I was gonna need to know um, about the surgery, we talked about at my consultation appointment. And after my consultation appointment, they submitted the information to insurance. I took my photos. They took about, I think about six pictures um, and to send into insurance to get approved. And um, they said that it would take about a month to hear back from insurance. And for me, it took exactly a month to hear back from insurance to see whether or not I was approved or denied. And luckily I was approved, which I'm so excited about because I thought that I was gonna get denied because insurance doesn't really ever wanna cover anything. So I heard that I was approved. And when I found out I was approved, that's when we scheduled my procedure. And my procedure is going to be on April 20th. It's supposed to be April 20th. I don't know what time yet. I still have to do pre-testing on the 5th of April. 2023 and that is what I am looking forward to because it took so long my the whole process for me total took four months it took four months for me to start the process I did physical therapy beforehand because my insurance was probably going to tell me that I needed to do it anyway so we got that out of, out of the way that's why my doctor had me do that first I tried to go to see a chiropractor as well but um, honestly, the chiropractor was just too expensive for me, even with insurance. Um, they took insurance, but I still had a copay, and the copay was pretty hefty. So I just, I didn't, I didn't even worry about the, being going to a chiropractor because it was out of my budget. Um, so I just did my physical therapy for two months, twice a week for two months, and there was no progress like at all. It was just a temporary fix. It would honestly, I would feel relief for just the day <laughs> and then I would get back to being sore all over again and it just wasn't it wasn't helpful like it, it was just a temporary fix for me I didn't it didn't really make a change for me it felt great but it like I said it's just temporary and nobody wants to live with a temporary fix you know it's just like a waste of time waste of resources and stressful so yeah, I am very excited and looking forward to getting my surgery. I will be doing a video. I will be documenting my procedure, at least before I'm, you know, under the table, under anesthesia. I will be documenting everything once I get to the hospital and everything like that. And I will be having, my, I was going to have my boyfriend, my boyfriend with me. So he'll probably be documenting for me um, after my procedure. Cause I won't, I don't, I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm gonna be. I don't think I'll be able to move much of my upper body afterwards. It'll be a little loopy anyways. So I'm gonna have him document for me. Um, and then I will be doing weekly updates after my procedure. So yep. thank you guys for watching and I will keep everyone up.